<laughs> so do you remember? Like, yeah. Do you remember how we met? <laughs> I do. Yeah. Because it's pretty memorable. Yeah, I just feel lucky to have you as my brother and now as my sister. I think immediately I was just surprised and I was I knew I knew that I was like this is this is serious. I cannot wait to see the way that the Lord will use your relationship, your love for serving and your love for other people. I'm grateful for your vulnerability. There's nothing that makes someone feel quite as safe as being trusted by someone you know is trustworthy to the core. I didn't know anybody. I didn't know the other guy or, the, or you or her. But then like, I got there and I got to see you and I thought you were really special. I thought you were really kind. You listened really well. I love that we all got to spend time together as a whole group, but I also love the fact that we got time just the two of us and it was fun to just do things with you. And there were times where I really felt like I wanted to say I love you, but then I was he like, had oh, told us. I had, I had, told I had him. said it. Like, it. I don't mean it. <laughs> I didn't, it had slipped out. Wash up on the sand. How long will I watch you? As long as you want me to. Grace, you have a gift for being present with people. I feel like every time we're together, you lose track of time. You could have been looking ahead, but you were looking at me. And that's how I see you look at everyone. You don't look for the light, easy answers. You look for what's really going on in people's lives. I've been dreading this moment. <laughs> Joel just means so, so much to me. But it is a pleasure to be here. I'm so honored that Joel has asked me um, to be up here. I can't wait to go to bed together and wake up together mm -hmm. and just like end each day and start each day with you. How long will I love you as long as the stars? I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't, yeah. I can't wait for that to be normal. Yeah. Grace, you are one of the strongest, most loyal, and dedicated people that I know. Your drive speeds way past my understanding. Let me be filled with kindness and compassion for the one. Lastly, you are faithful. You have been patient through trials, praising God on the mountaintops and in the valleys. Gave your son for humanity. Increase my I admire you so much in the way that you rely fully on the Lord. I'm so glad that you got Joel. You two not only believe in God, but you've dedicated your lives to loving Him and to loving other people. God invites you to build your spiritual home, stone by stone, at the place of intersection between God the Father, and God the Spirit, and God the Son. Grace, when I first met you, I thought you were absolutely lovely. As I've been blessed to spend more time with you, I've seen just how deep your beauty runs. You delight in the wonder of creation with pure joy. You are a solid rock of conviction, and you live out both grace and truth in a way that reminds me of Jesus. Joel, there are many things that I love 
love about you. But one of the things I love the most are your eyes. And it might not be what you were thinking. <laughs> yes, I do love the warmth of your eyes and those long eyelashes. <laughs> But I love your eyes not only for how beautiful they are, but for what they seek and what they find. Joel, thank you for seeking my heart, for cherishing me. You are patient as you are kind, and your gentleness is beyond what I could ever ask or imagine. You help me grow and challenge me in all the best ways. You rely on each other a lot, and you're kind of this, this sort of like, one warm coal in a in kind of a desert of cold it can feel like sometimes i now pronounce you husband and wife joel you may kiss the bride <laughs>